Good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Stuck and welcome to our Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Today we're going to do the Folly Tanks, and uh, I think I misstated yesterday we we're going to do Merchant Adventure today, but the reason I kind of misstated that is because I was focused on the High Speed Train, which obviously would be the other High Speed Train scenario, the same train we did yesterday. I want to do one of each, the HST and the Class 47 this weekend, because they're the ones that have duplicates, like two scenarios each. Every other train only has one, so I wanted to do those two uh, trains on this weekend. And then we will be able to revisit those trains, obviously, in another form. So we are doing the uh, Folly Tanks today. The other scenario with the 47 is Fairwater Shunt, a little further up, uh, because of the other scenarios in the way here. I uh, don't see it on screen right now, but uh, we are going to do Folly Tanks. The Fairwater Shunt is a half-hour scenario. I decided I wanted to have a nice, longer scenario today because, well, I just feel like doing it. Plus, we're going in the other direction. We're starting at Folly, heading, uh, or sorry, Folly to Tavistock Junction. We're starting from Cogwell Junction, rather. We're going to continue to exit Riverside. We're going to do some shunting there, and I assume someone's going to take the train on from there after we're done. So uh, let's go ahead and start at Coglo Junction right now. Again, no message box. I think that's the theme with just train scenarios. So let's get ourselves going as soon as we're allowed. The problem, of course, is we have a red signal, so it gives us time to review what we're doing today. We're going to be, uh, hello driver, as soon as you get the road, we may depart for exit Riverside. Your book time arrival is 1846. Please note the maximum speed is 60 miles per hour. Okay. Down goods departure is 35 miles away. That's our first location. We're going to do some drop-offs at that point. Even though we have an 1846 arrival time, it does not appear to be timetable. So once we get to uh, 35 miles from here, we're going to drop some cars off. We're going to drop more off elsewhere. We're going to couple the other cars back up. So we're basically dropping these cars off, but we have to disconnect these and reconnect them afterwards. That's the be what we're doing. So that's the shunting. Hello. Well, there goes the HST. No wonder we're uh, waiting. So peeking at the map just to see what that was. We're here. Yeah, that's we're coming from the off-map area here. So uh, that's the train going. We're going to have a signal as soon as he is through. And since we know that now, looking behind us, that is the line back here. Sorry, wrong. That is the line back here that goes towards the... Um, Southwestern Expressways route, but as you can see in this route, it just goes off into a bush. That's all we have over there. So uh, we're not going to worry about that route today. We're coming from there, though. And once this HST is out of the way, we're good. I'm just getting the train set up. Are my headlights on? My headlights are not on. My headlights are on. So the HST just has to clear our path, and we are good to go. company. That train's heading off towards the uh, South Western Expressways. It's going to disappear into the portal at the back. So now that we are yellow, we're good to go. Just looking behind us, that train's already gone. So it's going to be off to that very quickly. It's heading right into the portal over there. Oh no, it's heading north. Where's it going? Oh no, it was going north. Never mind. We saw it going north. My mistake. It's going north. So even though the speed limit says 90 miles per hour, we have to treat this as a 60 mile per hour train. We also are operating under a yellow signal, but since that was a fast train ahead of us, I'm confident we'll clear uh, very quickly up ahead. So I'm not too worried right now about my speed. would now be waiting for us, which is not normal, it just means no one's there right now.
speed limit has increased to 100. Again, though, we are limited to 60 miles per hour as per the last word on the briefing. And while it's only a speculation, I have a feeling we're going to be, if we were to speed past, because the game won't actually penalize us in any way, I have a feeling what would happen is we would find ourselves held at a red signal if we go too fast. So uh, the, a very good stereo designer will enforce those speed limits by basically holding you up if you're going too fast and saying, well, you, you want to rush, now you're going to wait for a while. So if it's uh, well designed, we won't be able to rush through. There. I'm not going to edit any of the leg spurts uh, that I see, uh, and I may not call them all out, obviously, because I don't want to draw attention to that, but I'm going to be leaving them in generally because uh, it's just too much work trying to edit those out. Uh, at some point, I will have a better computer, hopefully, and I'll be able to uh, have, be able to play with, at a higher quality with no problems, but uh, until that happens, uh, this is what I have to work with. Of course, when that happens, I'm going to probably be streaming it as well, but that's another story. Coming up on my speed limit of 60 miles per hour, I'm going to uh, take the throttle off now. This is a smooth throttle, so we're going uh, exactly where we want to on the throttle when we move it up and down. And I've hit 60, so I'm bringing it down just a little more. right now, so I'm going to drop it down just a wee bit more. I'm okay with a decrease. I'd like to have about 9 or 10% throttle. I think that's an ideal setting. I didn't pay attention to the whistle board there. Oops. I should do that. Hey, bus! I was just thinking we should be seeing our first station soon, and thankfully it's actually marked on the HUD for us. I did remember, I was thinking it had to be Taunton. Turns out it is Taunton. So the only two stations we should see on the way to Exeter Riverside are Taunton and Riverside, sorry, Tiverton Parkway. Got my names mixed up. So Taunton and Tiverton Parkway. mile per hour section coming so I'm going to hit the brakes. under 41 just in time. Gonna keep the throttle not applied. That'll allow us to um, stay under 40. This is taunting. Ooh, lots of people on the uh, platform there today. I saw about six people 
There's a couple more. Oh, there's a bunch more. Oh, there's a. there must be a train coming very shortly. A lot of people on that platform. So I applied a minimal amount of thrall to maintain 40. I'm going to go ahead and increase that once we're back in the 100 to work ourselves back towards 60. seem to be over the other track but it was our green signal so I'm thinking there must have been a shunt signal associated with the left track that I didn't notice there. Or it's just a straight track, I'm not sure which. That track has a yellow signal, that's not our signal. So there's another signal granting access to the main line for that track. Further ahead, that signal will be red. There it is. my speed limit a little bit here. Let's bring that back down. So there's the line towards Weston Supermare, which is the second station. No, I got the wrong line. That's something else. That's further towards uh, Bristol. Sorry. Got my line mixed up. I don't remember offhand what that line is right now. West Somerset Railway. Now I remember. That's the West Somerset Railway. Of course, that's near Taunton. connection to the WSR, there's no other features up to Temperton Parkway. And uh, of course the line coming in near Exeter, what was really Temperton Parkway, will be the uh, Exeter to Barnstable line. Also the Dart, uh, sorry, sorry, the Dartmoor Railway is also connected to the Exeter to Barnstable line. Two different tracks that uh, split off and go in their various directions, and they're kind of like individual track lines. So they have uh, the um, token exchange going on on those lines, both of them I believe, to prevent access to other trains. Now, thinking about that, I do have the extra Barnstable line installed, six scenarios come with it. Uh, it's actually not very far from Bristol Extra in my scenario list, so I now have in mind that I need to uh, visit and explore that line at some point. I will need to do that. So 
So after I get my uh, continued travels in New York expanded just a little, little bit further, I will see if I can get extra to Barnes Stable Explorer because that's a very interesting, quaint little line. What I've seen in game looks nice as well. I want to bring that to you. The dart moor is going to wait just a little bit longer, though, and the reason for that is because continuing that. The reason for wanting to wait on that is because it's part of the BHPP route, uh, Berkshire the Monster, Bristol, and Penzance. It is fully implemented on that route, from what I understand now, in the 3.0 version. Uh, while I do want to get that to you, I also um, have a lot of other things to do before I do the BHPP route itself, but I may make a point of looking at that specific line. I may install it and just show you the BHPP route to show you how big it is, but, and I may just look at that specific line. What I can say is the BHPP route does not have the Western Main Lines route all the way to Plymouth Scenery yet. There are areas with no scenery. So uh, if I'm going to travel that entire line, I have to use Western Main Lines for right now or the Cornish Main Line at least, also the South Devon. Uh, though I think South Devon is mostly done. Might be the odd spot. But uh, Cornish definitely is not done on that route yet. So uh, I know that it sets on both Truro being a more boundary for some of the scenery. So um, we'll get to the full PHPP run at some point when it is fully scenery. I'm going to work my way up to showing you little bits of it as I get to um, those areas on other non-connected routes. I also want to show you an older version of the route as well, which has a lot of scenarios that someone made for it. Though I'm going to have to change the stock on them because they're very bland repaints. Climb, that's keeping us at 60.7 miles per hour without an increase. And now we're losing some good speed, so I'm putting a little bit of throttle on to uh, get our speed back, or at least not lose as much. In fact, I need a lot of power to do this. So, okay, I'm okay where I am. This seems all right. in the background, I was getting a phone call there. I uh, had to uh, sidestep that for a moment.
this uphill gradient is really uh, hampering me at the moment. I am losing a little bit of speed, but I'm still doing okay for my uh, travel. does uh, happen to smooth out up ahead. There is a downhill as we enter the uh, tunnel here. I forget the name I gave it to you last video. I remember the tunnel um, occlusions are not very well done here. This is a very old route, so that's, uh, that's to be expected. This was normal back then. Nowadays, the occlusions would have been done to, um, well, not show you the train route in front of us. Would have been hidden in the dark like everything else. for Tiverton Parkway here. I think we're about four miles away from that. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to my speed. Oh, great gracious me. That downhill really increased my speed. Badly. It's not going to show as a speed penalty, but I should not have been going that fast. That was actually not good at all. I see what looks like a line joining in the, at least I can see the dirt that looks like a line joining there. The line of course isn't there today. away from uh, Tiverton Parkway. I would expect to see it on the hut by now. That's about a mile and three quarters out on the hut. I didn't see the whistle board. Oops. Not having a good day here. We have those. speed a little bit under the limit for right now, at least my limit, to uh, try to ensure that I don't uh, hit any red signal that might be here to stop me. Ah, here's Circuit Parkway.
going to head towards the down goods departure. We're not going to see Exeter, uh, sorry, excuse me, Exeter St. David's itself. We're not going to see Exeter Central either because it's after that. But uh, Timberton Park was the last station we're going to see. We are less than 15 miles now from the down goods departure. I took a quick break to try and return that phone call too, but uh, so we're going to finish the journey now. Saw that bridge coming up, I thought it looked like an incomplete bridge. That was kind of a weird look for a second there. I think I just didn't see it correctly. And now I'm going to watch my speed because we're on a downhill. Speed is doing some interesting bouncing here. speed increase has stopped here as I must be at the bottom of that gradient even though we're on a 1 in 316 we are losing speed speed limit is 60 miles per hour. We should not be exceeding that speed. We're 
right now on a one in, um, I think that says 824, one in 824 gradient. Exeter here. a little bit distracted today. I'm not paying full attention for the uh, whistleboards today like I sometimes am. So I think I'm just dropping a little bit distracted today. But I am hearing those uh, railroad uh, noises, or those, I should say, those crossing noises, and I am sounding the horn when I hear them anyway, so. It means I probably missed the whistleboard. back up to the 60 mile per hour limit right now. I want to keep it just under that. A little bit of uh, texture fun with the uh, power lines going over the track there. This is normal in a game environment, so I don't uh, blame anyone for the power lines there. That's normal to see uh, with something like that crossing the 
area. You'll see that in truck sims, you'll see it in uh, racing sims, I'm sure, to some extent. You'll see it if you're walking along in a shooter game and there's a power cord going over, you're going to see the same fracturing. We're within five miles of down goods departure. We're then going to go ahead and look at our train for uh, uncoupling. Let's take a quick look at the uh, task, look at the uncoupling chart for our train to see how long our train is. You can see if we look at our train here and scroll to the front of the train, we have the uh, front of the train. We're going we're gonna to be going to the 82690. So you see in the uh, middle of the screen somewhere back here, that's actually the back of the train. There's 82690. So the first one is 82727, which is right nowhere. There it is, right in the middle of the screen right now. So these cars will stay on on the front of the train when we get to that point. So remember the number 82727 to make this a lot quicker. Looks like we are going to be cleared most likely right into uh, the down goods departure. Quick peek at the map up ahead while we're uh, waiting here. That's not where I want to be. We're up here. So we're going to down goods departure. I think, no, the path is not lit up yet, but I think it's going to be automated getting us into that line. We're going to be heading right there. So I think this is an automated line. We're going to be path, yeah, we're path right in there. That's not a problem. mile per hour section coming up that does not affect us but we are getting close to our destination by that point we're gonna have to slow down anyway by that sign even though we don't have to change our speed for that sign We're going to have to slow down now anyway because we got a yellow signal, flashing yellow signal. So we are going to be definitively getting a junction speed limit. Now it looks like it's a 65, but we have a 15 right behind it. So the 15 is the one I'm going to be concerned about. That's a warning for a speed limit reduction. down goods depart well we can't see it anymore but we did for a moment see the down goods departure up ahead that's our first stop then we're going to let our cars off we have to wait for the uh, stop task to complete before we can let the cars off so we can't just rush this in the same way that the ai might be able to get away with it I'm going at good enough speed right now so i'm going to take the brakes off for a moment Half mile out, I'll put a small brake back on, which is right now. And I think I'm going to be down 15 well before that sign, so I'm going to go ahead and take this back off. But meanwhile, we have a uh, warning for another speed reduction. That should be a 
Yeah, that's a green junction indicator to the right. So we have a green signal to proceed at our speed, which is 15 miles per hour up ahead. We can expect the next signal to be clear. Put a little more brakes on that because I think I might have held the brakes off a little too long. down to 15. Slightly early, but it gives our speed a chance to adjust as we enter that 15 zone. And then we're in a good position right now for our speed limit. So there's the 15 going right. We're going to pass that sign. We're going to be under that speed limit. We may get a faster speed limit as we're in the downwards departure, but either way, we're going to be doing some uh, shunting anyway. So we are going to try to limit ourselves, I think, 250 while we're doing our shunting, most likely. That way we don't shoot too far by accident. Okay, now we are definitely going into a yard area. So we're going to uh, probably be under 15 in this area. We're off the main line. Oh, not that much speed. Wow. Even if we can go faster than 15, we're stopping anyway, so no point to uh, speeding up any faster. That's not like an increase in throttle for a second. That was trying to turn it off. Wow. That was a very noticeable loading leg there uh, just a moment ago. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be adding those out. The only ones I would add out are ones that are very significant, like a five second delay where I'm not talking, for example. just shows you how the game performs in certain setups. I have an i5 on mine, so it shows you that an i5 may not be enough to run some of the uh, stuff in this game. So I'm going to take this train uh, as far to the front of the section as I can. It'll save me time connecting to it afterwards. Because I have to come back and connect to some of these cars. So I can actually take the first uh, few vehicles of my train to a first spot further along here and I should be okay. Because I've got about uh, four cars that I'm taking with me. So the first few cars can stay over the edge. I'm trying to get the uh, map zoomed in but it's not working. Okay, that's far enough. So we're going to complete our stop here, and let's look at our train briefly. You must now take the front four TTAs on to Riverside 2. Got it. So we can see 82727. Remember that number from the uh, earlier discussion? Here it is right there. We're going to take these uh, front four TTAs as indicated, if it will let me. Disconnect, disconnect, thank you. That's what I wanted to do. And going forward. I'm going to turn this off for a second just to make sure. Hello. There it is. That's what I heard. So, we, so that's the line we were on earlier. So, uh, yeah, we're good. This is not connected, so now it is. I have to go where? Oh, right here. Okay, that's where I'm going. So I'm going forward far enough to uh, 
get into that area, which means I'm going onto this line. That part is connected. I don't care what happens beyond that. So we've got a couple junctions to traverse across here. Then we're going to come back and we're going to uh, finish from there. And I think we have a red signal we have to deal with up ahead. Is that our signal? I'm going to hide this for a moment. Uh, yeah, that is a red signal. So are we going to be able to get far enough to... I think we have to go on the other track. There might be a possibility we may have to uh, do illegal things here. This is a possibility. Checking our map. Where am I? Oh, I don't know. I can't get where I need to go here. This is a this is a potential problem. I'm really too slow now. We have to take this train all the way to the signal and see what we can do. Or maybe we're going to the uh, right. Let me see if we're going right. That would solve the problem. But we seem to have the signal, so maybe not. I'm going to stop here for a second. I want to check something. Go this way. That'll do the job. Problem solved. Problem solved. So we can pass now because that signal is for accessing the main line. We've uh, managed to solve our little dilemma here, but I think we're far enough to go back anyway. So once that track changes, we can stop. Keeping an eye on that. Yeah, actually, never mind. It's, not, it's a manual one, so it's not going to change. We can just do it ourselves. There we go. We are now heading to the incorrect line. I think that's where we want to go. Riverside 2. Let's reverse. That is not Riverside 2. Okay, I'm going to keep that on for a moment. Figure out if I'm going to the right place. Riverside 2. No, it was correct. There it is. Problem solved. As soon as we enter Riverside 2, we're bringing it to a halt, and I will let these cars off, and we will go about our day getting the rest of our cars again. a huge yard to work with, so there's no real overshoot here. It's just more time spent if we go further back. Not a big deal. So we're going to repeat this procedure to get back to our other cars, and then we're going to uh, be done this scenario. I'm going to go far enough in to make sure all the cars register as being in Riverside 2. Remember back at the start of my entire uh, train career here on this channel, Falmouth Branch, we uh, had a problem getting one yard to recognize my cars being stopped because I had one, two cars outside of it out of a group of five. So we need to make sure we're fully inside. We are now fully inside. And I don't have to actually do a stop task here. I just have to let the four cars off. Four, seven, one, five, seven stays on our vehicle, so or on our car, train. So I'm going to set forward. We're going to take that off, and we are done. Now I head back to down goods departure and couple up to the remaining wagons. Copy that. Since the other track up ahead is now junctioned away from the red signal, we shouldn't have a problem with that, but we should fit now within the signal anyway, so it's not a big deal.
So checking behind us again. That's not where I want to be. This is where I want to be. We're still on the junction. I'll hide that. And I'm being junctioned, to, I'm being taken to the wrong spot now. I keep getting moved back, but we are far enough to bring the train to a stop. We can now turn this back. And we're now heading back to our train way back there. That is gonna be the last task. So we're going to reverse again. Not going to the red signal anymore. Because I'm nice, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna turn this uh, switch back where it should be to the main line, because we're gonna be heading out there or the other driver will be. So we're going to clean that up. I'm not going to go full speed because I know I have uh, something behind me. Oh, that's the other engine behind me. Okay, it is a two engine thing. Perfect. There we go. I should have realized that. 4-7 on the train number. Duh. I knew that. I could have actually gone into the other cab and driven it that way, but that would have been an awkward way to finish the scenario facing one of our cars. So... I'm okay backing up. As I complete this uh, backup, I want to just remind you, make sure you like the video, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We're going to be ending this scenario quickly after we connect. So I'm going to be turning the HUD off for that finish as well. So we're going to go ahead and finish backing into our cars, and that will be the end of the scenario. Just gonna start hitting the brakes here. Well done. Another driver will now take the remainder of the tanks to Tavistock Junction, which I knew was going to be the case. So, uh, yeah, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. I'm Cyclone. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just want to wish you a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever you're doing for your part of the world. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Bye-bye.